Hi everybody, welcome to the show. Well, I'm all excited because I'm not in my Zoom room. I'm actually at the uh, O'Connor Art Gallery and I was here volunteering this morning and just so happened that the artist showed up. Her name is Patricia Peters. Right now she's talking to somebody who came in to, to um, see her work. She does that every time somebody comes in, by the way. She just talks to them and asks or answers any questions they have for her. Uh, Corley, thank you, Corley, for being on the camera, behind the camera there. If you want, we could just sort of walk around and show some of her work while she's, um, uh, she's talking. It, this big, big canvas right here, she's been working on that, and um, she said she hopes she finishes it this month. <laughs> as, as you can see, it's just massive. I mean, it's really great. She said she bought it and then had trouble getting it into her home because it wouldn't fit in the car, you kind of wedged it into a truck. But some of her work over here, this here is wax. This is done with wax. And she was explaining to me how that it's a um, very uh, short time span because the wax, I guess, hardens really fast because if you want to add the color in it, whatever, you have to reheat it with maybe a, a blow torch, which I think I would love to have a blow torch. And this one too is also with the wax. And I don't remember, wax on wood, she said, wax on wood. And I think this is a matte, these are shiny, and this is a matte wax, okay? So there's all this different type of, of stuff, of products she uses. I don't understand all the terminology because I'm not really an artist. But if you look at some of her work, what I like, Corley, if you want to come over here to show, I hope I'm not making you crazy by moving around. She brings her work right around the side and it's all finished so it's, it wraps around. See how that is? Isn't that awesome? I absolutely love that. Let's go see if we can interrupt her. All right, so here we are, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm with the artist, Patricia Peters. Thanks, take your thanks for doing this with me, Patricia. Um, when I started the intro, you were talking to somebody who'd come in to, uh, to see your work, which is really, really nice. Uh, I mentioned to the audience that you're working on this piece yep. here, right? And you hope to finish it by? I, I am going to try to finish it by the end of the month, but uh, if I can get in a few extra, you know, whenever I need to. But it's coming along. It's got lots of... It's, it's trying not to kill it at this stage, is sometimes <laughs> the thing, but... Um, now, one of the things that you talked to me earlier before we were on camera about um, the energy because of the colors, Yeah. right? Yellow is the very hardest of all the colors to paint because um, there's such a small value window. So blue, the value system is from light, completely a huge long range, but yellow is only this big. And uh, so you, to get yellows that super bright and, you know, not, it's a small wear window. So that's why I'm building up the darker yellowy orange color, green is a darker value of yellow. And so okay. I'm building that up. So when I can put those high points in, I'll be really excited. <laughs> what are some of the mediums you work with? Oh, well, a bit very, this lady just came in and asked me if I had watercolors. Not, not so much per se, but as soon as I say that, then that's, that's when I do them. I, I paint watercolors outside, uh, plein air, just when I'm outside and want to catch that down. And, and sometimes at home, if I'm still trying to discover a sketch or try to work out just a pattern, I'll take a, you know, a book and just try to, um, I've got many, and I'll just work out a pattern with watercolors. Um, I don't like to work with glass anymore, so uh, oh, yeah, but you so many like broken little shattering little things happen when they travel. So I mm. I don't work in glass anymore, and I made that adjustment. And uh, so I over here, you might see later is I work in cold wax and oil, which is a, a, a cold process. There's no heat required. It's mixed like it looks like a paste, cold wax and. Uh, pigments or uh, graphite or oil pigments are put in there and um, then it's not used with brushes it's used with silicon tools and scraped through 
or hot wax, which is called encaustic wax, and that's everything is heated on a hot pallet or a hot box, and that's pretty exciting. One of the things I was looking at, and I, we do already... acrylic. Yeah. Oh, right, sorry. Yeah, one of the things I, I like about um, the paintings, the one you can see that aren't framed, is how you wrapped around on the sides. You continue that... Because I noticed that some artists, some don't do anything with the, with the, the sides, and some do something. But the way you have it, it's just so cool. Uh, well, you know, some things, it really works. There's a, When I work on a wood panel, Generally, if it's all wood, then I will finish the sides like furniture, like a fine furniture. I'll um, stain it and, and varnish it and do all that kind of stuff. But when it's on a canvas, it is, people don't right away get stuff framed. Yeah. But sometimes it gives it that 3D effect. Yes. That's, that's it. And you'd be surprised how much paint and effort, you know, that, that that'll take to, to cover the side and to uh, get that continuous image. Um, sometimes I work always at the same time, but otherwise I kind of left it to the end and I have to go back and <laughs> remix everything. But um, it, it just has that element. I'm like, this is not unlikely going to be framed. It, it's four inches deep, so... Right. What's, what's the, the dimensions of this? This one is uh, 54 inches high by 90 inches wide, so 144 so united inches. Yeah. And <laughs> it's big, a lot of paint you need at once. and. Uh, yeah. To keep it transparent is a bit of a, a trick. The pull it, push and pull of transparent and opaque paint makes makes stuff move. Right. So it makes it exciting. When did you first uh, start displaying your work? Oh, I did start in watercolor, and I uh, um, was painting up in uh, Sorrento Salmon Arm area with the Blind Bay painters, and uh, I was showing there. I, Probably before that in Cranbrook, I, I started really showing um, in the Cranbrook Kimberley area with a group up there and uh, had, had some success up there. And uh, it takes a little while. If I, we've moved around quite a bit with my husband and family. And so you kind of establish and you make friends and you don't see them for a while. So, right. But yeah. I get a kind of a flavor, certainly for Western Canada is. Right. I've gotten a good good chance to to get to know it. Okay, one of the things I want to ask you about is um, you're talking about um, giving um, workshops, right? Is that something you're really considering? Well, uh, I used to give an awful lot in Alberta. We would have traveling shows or different things, and I did a lot of a lot of that. I've done um, cold wax, this uh, more abstract thing here since I've been here. Sometimes collage work and uh, occasionally an acrylic painting, but I wanted to do something in the abstract where it really kind of pushed people's way of approaching it, or, you know, make them go outside, it, help assist them in their going outside of the box or approaching it from a different way or feel free to do that. It's a certain loosen freedom. Up. Yeah, loosen yeah. up and, and then sometimes just changing the tools if you're using silicone and, and moving paint differently just that process of watching what it does, moving paint, is so inspiring. That's right. Really and what good. are you going to do with it when you all of a sudden get something magical? Yeah, right. Yeah. So, so if, if somebody were, like if you were going to set up a workshop, how would people contact you? Well, there's two ways probably. Uh, on my website, patriciapeters.ca, or um, also the CVAA, the Chilliwack Visual Artists, uh, sponsor several uh, workshops for their groups and uh, also for the community. So uh, they would also be another good place to contact, but uh, certainly shoot me an email and um, we could make something happen. All right, very good. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time. There and you this go. went really fast, but which it always does, you know, when you're having a good time with somebody. Um, but I appreciate you taking some time because I know you were trying to finish your work. And by the way, I just want to tell the audience, she speaks to everybody who comes in to see her work, which is, <laughs> which is really, really awesome. So thanks again for doing this with You're me. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to know a little bit about Patricia Peters in the short time that we've had with her. And uh, take care, everybody, and peace out. A sense of community Till the wax a place to be A sense of community where you're free 
Rolling through the mountains, rolling through the valley, rolling through paradise with me. It's multicultural, you're sure to see it all. Chilliwax, the place to be, you'll see. Come party in the park, go dancing after dark. Chilliwax, the place to be, you'll see.